Hello everybody, I welcome you all to today's video. In today's video, we are going to talk about bioprocess engineering. Now, bioprocess engineering is a very seldom talked about uh, topic in biotechnology, but it definitely has a wide scope and career growth perspective. So today we are going to talk about biotechnology industry oriented career scope and growth in bioprocess engineering. And I'm Dr. Vaishali, Biotechnica's academic specialist. Come, let's start the video. Now, first, we are going to start with the agenda. We are going to talk about what bioprocess engineering is and what a bioprocess engineer does. Right. The second, we are talk going to talk about the types of industries in bioprocess engineering. Next, we are going to talk about a few interesting aspects uh, in, in terms of career. Next, we are going to talk about how you can become a bioprocess engineer. What are the companies that are hiring bioprocess engineers and what is the salary that can be expected in this particular field, right? Come, let's start with the first topic. That is, what does a bioprocess engineer do, do right? So first, what bioprocess engineering is, is it uses biological materials to create a variety of products. Say, for example, we use microbes, right? We use microbes to create products, biological products, such as, say, ethanol or any active pharmaceutical ingredient in your, uh, in your drug. So, so these are the products that will be created from these microbes. So what you do is you take the microbe and you put it in a bioreactor and then you add the substrates. And then the process starts in a bioreactor with multiple factors in it. And then you basically get the product and you take the product out and you further process it. So this is what uh, bioprocess engineering is in a very crisp form. Now. The second is that it consists of both upstream and downstream process. Now, what do we mean by upstream process? So it is basically, it involves more of lab work. So in lab, what you'll be doing is you would be, uh, you know, detecting what the microbe that you will be using for your uh, product manufacturing and you'll be optimizing on the growth of these microbes. And you will also, um, produce the product and see in a large scale and then you will also take it to the industry scale and then see in the bioreactor how this microbe is acting and how you're getting the product out of it. So this is what uh, upstream is in a nutshell. Second, we come to downstream. How, what, what downstream does is it basically extracts the product, product out of the media from the bioreactor and then it it uh, extracts and it purifies those that product because the product is going to have a lot of impurities. So purification is another process and then packaging. So these are the three uh, broad areas that is involved in a downstream processing. Next, we are going to see what are the broad fields uh, in bioprocess engineering. So the first that we're going to talk first is biotechnology. Second is chemical engineering. Now, why biotechnology? Biotechnology, because obviously we are going to uh, get involved with biological products. So biotechnology plays a major field. Second is chemical engineering. Chemical engineering is um, also uh, used in bioreactors. I mean, chemicals are also used in bioreactors because you have, say, medium, you have the substrates, then you go for purification and packaging. So all of in all of these steps, chemicals are involved. Hence, chemical engineering is also a very important field that plays its role in bioprocess engineering. Third is mechanical engineering. So obviously here we are going to use a bioreactor with a lot of probes, a lot of other tools like say impellers or the baffles, etc. So valves and uh, you know uh, the cooling uh, jacket and, and etc. in a bioreactor. So basically definitely uh, mechanical engineering also has an important role to play in bioprocess engineering, right? So all of the confluence of these three fields is what is bioprocess engineering. Next, what are the types of industries uh, that have come up which uses bioprocess engineering in their manufacturing, right? The first is the pharmaceutical. So in pharmaceutical, we have active API, API or active pharmaceutical ingredient and the enzyme. So there are enzymes that's used for the manufacturing of these APIs. So these are the products uh, that will be produced in a large industrial scale in the case of pharmaceutical industries. Second, we are going to talk about agricultural and 
food industries. Now, in agricultural industries, we use a lot of bioproducts, say for, like biopesticides or other agricultural chem chemicals like herbicides or fertilizers, etc. So all of these uh, chemicals that are produced biologically, so uh, in a large scale, so in all of these industries, agricultural industries, bioprocess engineering will be used. Secondly, uh, about food, when you're going for value added uh, food, so that is where uh, bioreactor and large scale production of such food is involved, then uh, we have we have to use bioprocess engineers or bioprocess engineering. The next is in the brewery industry. Brewery industry, especially in say liquor production companies, uh, which basically use fermentation. Uh, we all know that the liquor comes from uh, your basic uh, biological microbes as well as substrates. So yes. Uh, that is what is fermentation and uh, that is where our bioprocess engineering also comes into picture. Third is about ethanol. So ethanol is very important for uh, a variety of industries. So production of ethanol biologically. So even here we'll be using bioreactors. The next is chemical industry. Say, so the use of biological products for higher quality and quantity of the chemicals. So here uh, there is a wide use of enzymes for producing chemicals. So such, uh, such applications where biological products are being used for chemical industry, say like polymers or papers, etc. So in such industries as well, bio, uh, bioprocess engineers are in wide career scope. Next is environmental. Now, in environmental, we have uh, fields such as biofuel, waste management, and water treatment. So in these of subfields also, we use bioprocess engineering, right? Now, now, let's move on to the next topic. That's a few interesting aspects uh, in, in bioprocess engineering as a career field, right? The first is that you will be involved in designing new products. So basically you will get innovative and creative about, um, you know, designing new products. So that's where it gets really interesting as a career scope. Second, you're not just going to do new innovation, you will also improvise on the older inventions or the older products that's being done. So that way, uh, you're going to basically optimize uh, all the processes and uh, come up with a new and innovative solution. So even there, it's going to be very interesting. Third is it's a combination of field like just we talked about, right? It's a combination of bio, of chemical and of mechanical. And sometimes even electrical comes into pictures because we have a lot of probes that is being used in a bioreactors. So when so many fields are uh, confluencing in this particular uh, uh, in this particular field, even though you are, uh, say, an expert in one of the field, you will still learn about other fields as well because you're going to be in touch with it in constant basis. So it's going to help you learn and improve in your career a lot, learn new things almost every day. So that's how it's going to be really interesting as a career. The next is about teamwork, yes. Just like uh, how I said, it's going to be an involvement of many fields. You're also going to get involved with many people and work as a whole. So you're not going to be alone uh, during your career uh, growth and uh, job. So this is where also the teamwork plays a very major role. And it's going to be interesting because you're going to be involved with people, right? The next is about futurist aspects. Yes, we did see a lot of industries that uses bioprocess engineering, but is this going to be sustainable? Well, definitely, yes. We have uh, not just these industries, but also a lot of um, innovative products are picking up these days, say, like, for example, um, you know, DNA recombination technologies, right? One is that, uh, so in DNA recombination technologies, what they do is they custom um, custom make the microbes to get your product. So when such gene technology is really developed and they're using it in large scale bioreactors, this field is definitely going to pick up. And there are also these uh, fields such as synthetic biology, right? Uh, so all of these fields are going to pick up and bioprocess engineering will have a very major uh, use or very major application uh, as a career in all of these fields.
The next, what we're going to talk about is how you as a student or an industrial professional can become a bioprocess engineer, right? The first one that we're going to talk about is the education. So you can either have a UG, PG or doctorate in what fields? Well, the fields can be microbiology, it can be organic chemistry, it can be biochemistry, environmental science, biotechnology or any chemical sciences. So if you are a graduate in any of these fields, then yes, you can enter bioprocess engineering. If you have a few additional courses being done, say in engineering principles, mathematics or mechanics, then it's an added advantage for you to enter this field. Second, uh, you can go for training and internships. This is definitely a value addition in your uh, resume. You will have a practical uh, experience about uh, the application of all the tools and the skills that's required uh, by an by process engineer. So yes, this practical experience will definitely come a long way. This is basically to further your skill development and you can apply for such internships in uh, research facilities, in laboratory or even in industry. So these are the different places where you can apply for training and internships. The third that we're going to talk about are the skill sets that's required for you to become a bioprocess engineer. Well, first of all, you, you should be able to plan and create feasible solutions uh, to biotechnical problems, right? Because we just saw that it's about creating new products and also improvising on old. So you have to be uh, very creative and innovative in that sense. Second, your communication and your problem solving skills. So we just saw that it's always a teamwork in this particular field. So yes, you should have a good communication skills. Next, about thinking creatively and innovatively. So uh, till here, we come to the end uh, of, you know, what are the uh, different uh, skill sets and the training or the education that's necessary for you to become a bioprocess engineer. Now, let's now see what are the companies that hire a bioprocess engineer and what are the salary, what does the salary look like, right? So a few, so this we are going to talk about from the Indian uh, aspect. So a few of the pharmaceutical companies uh, that hire Rasipla, Biocon, Dr. Reddy, Zydus and Lupin. Few of the food industries that is into bioreactor and bioprocess are Nestle, Amul, Parley and Britannia. Next, biofuel industries such as Bharat Petroleum. Yes, Bharat Petroleum is into biofuels. So when they have a industry scale production, then yes, uh, bioprocess engineers are definitely needed. And a uh, few uh, other companies like Advanced Enzymes and Alcon. So these are few of the industries and few of the fields uh, that uh, definitely take a bioprocess engineer, they hire bioprocess engineers for all for their day-to-day -day operations. Now, the average salary package for a fresher that just you've entered, it looks around three to five lakhs per annum. So this is an av this is a salary for a fresher, but definitely when you're more experienced and when you know how to handle a bioreactor and uh, this whole a field in itself, then uh, definitely your salary package is going to increase with experience. So yes, uh, this is a very promising field in that sense. So now we come to the end of uh, this particular discussion. Uh, I am sure that it was really helpful for you. You had a great idea about what bioprocess engineer uh, does and uh, what are the different uh, career scope and growth in this particular field. Do let us know in the comment section if you have any more questions about bioprocess engineering as your career option. And thank you so much and see you all until next video. Thank you.